did It's Hot in Topeka really just stick with anyone else who watched 2000s Cartoon Network, or was that just me? Literally everyone ever. Oh god, it's hot. My brain for the past 15 years. In Topeka. The term straight kind of implies every other sexuality is bent, and that's rude. No, but the other sexualities could be like twirled and shaped like stars, you know. Hey, what are you? Lopsided triangle, what about you? Dude, squiggly line! The opposite of imposter syndrome, or I do deceive my way into an industry and I enjoy it. Infiltrator syndrome. <laughs> you laugh, but those people are real. I don't want to live in a society. I want to sit in a test chamber and respond to stimuli. And get juice reward. And get juice reward. Lin-Manuel Miranda said in an interview that he wrote the song You're Welcome for Maui once he knew the character would be voiced by Dwayne The Rock Johnson because he thought that Dwayne The Rock Johnson would be the one person on Earth who could sing something so egotistical and have us completely convinced we should be thanking him and honestly, he's not wrong. This just further proves my theory that he added in the Maui can do everything but float line, knowing that people will be making the pun about the reason floating is the only thing Maui can't do is because he's the rock! Hey, uh, sorry if this is stupid, but the Earth has, like, mountains and valleys and stuff, you know? So I don't see how it can be flat. If there's mountains and stuff, I'm, I'm sorry if it's stupid, I'm sorry. The New York Times, our animated dad's getting hotter. An investigation, all right, hold it. Anime dads have always been hot. These clowns were too slow to realize it. Why bully others when you can bully yourself? <laughs> Why is a dead wife so common as a backstory for male heroes when divorce exists and it's 10,000 times funnier? Ever since I lost my wife, I swore I would push myself to become the greatest hero this city has ever seen. Still not taking you back, Jared? Well, fuck you too, Stacy! With all the love you've gotten, how are you not evolving? I have an Everstout in my throat. The neurodivergent experience is talking about your brain as if it's a separate entity from yourself. Yeah, and it's a bastard. Dracula is trans. W w what's your proof? Well, he doesn't live in Sicilvania. <sighs> yeah, I can't argue with that logic. Can we please? Talk about the Google Scorpion emoji. Look at it. Dangerous babies. Mwah. Mwah, I accept it. DC Superhero Girls has given me many things. But by far, my favorite thing is that they had the best incarnation of Bruce Wayne. And I say that not as like, oh, this is 10,000% who Batman is. No. I mean that they have the best version of billionaire playboy Bruce Wayne. Better than even the movies have gotten for one sole reason. I want you to take a look at this bougie himbo. One fucking look. And tell me who in their right mind would believe that this man is the goddamn Batman. He's too pretty, too well put together, too big a himbo, too covered in fucking camera crews and groupies to ever pull it off. No one would even ever fucking consider this gem of a man could do it, but he does, and it works so fucking well. And oh my god, it's my new favorite thing. Alright, Opie, your post was missing one crucial detail. This. Perfection. Hey Mario, stop jumping to conclusions. Me. Yeah! Woohoo! Yahoo! Earth's boring, it's time to mix things up a little. After the year we just had? Politics bore me, but Yellowstone Super Volcano intrigues me. Let's do something with that. There are real teens out there who think discovering Nirvana is a special achievement. Isn't that kind of the whole point of Buddhism? <laughs> this post is slowly killing me. When you're the oldest in the squad and shower them with advice and affection. Hello, children! I am the fairy squad mother! Oh no, please help me, I'm melting in acid, Ubu! Why should I extend my mercy to you? 